But the Niners have Jimmy Ward, who's underrated top. I would call him a top 10 safety. And they have Talano Hufunga, who is unproven. Former sec- fifth round pick, second year player, started three games. Jesse Bates, all pro safety for Cincinnati, is available. They tagged him. He hasn't signed his tag. Uh, they can't extend him long term. That window is closed. Um, do you think the 49ers should trade for Jesse Bates? Now, they would probably have to get rid of Jimmy Garoppolo first, but if they do, I mean, they have some cap space. What do you think? Well, I'm a Jesse Bates fan. I loved him at Wake, and, I, you know, he's a tremendous player. He's very smart. Now he's a free safety. You know, do you want to play Jesse at strong safety in the box and and have two coverage, you know, safeties? I mean, the, the Niners like splitting their safeties. What's the price tag going to be? I mean, I think it's got to be pretty significant. Um, this guy's only 25 years old. He's got good size. He's a productive football player. Um, you know, he's, he's, he hasn't had tons of injuries. So, I mean, he would be interesting. The other guy that's out there, if you're looking for more of just strong safety depth is, uh, is, uh, Landon Collins, who, you know, isn't much now. This is, you know, kind of a yesteryear type safety who's not, you know, he's truly a box safety and has coverage liability issues. Um, but if you're just looking for another strong safety, you know, hammer in the box, Landon Collins would fit the bill. Otherwise, what do you think the price tag for Bates would be? See, I, I don't care. I, whatever he would need in an extension, I think the Niners should pay it because, uh, He's phenomenal. He'd be the best DB in their in their backfield. Now, what, in terms of picks, they don't really have first round picks, so I don't know what they would give. They'd have to give up some second round picks and a player maybe, but it doesn't seem like there's a bunch of teams trying to trade for Jesse Bates right now. So I don't know what it would take. But if how about how about Tarvarius Moore in a third? Do it. You know, Dude. I mean, I think Tarvarius Moore is one of those guys that could be very intriguing to a team like um, like the Bengals. Why? Because, you know, they don't they've got money spent on the offensive side and they don't want to throw that money towards Bates. And Tarvarius Moore is big, strong, fast. Uh, lots of scouts like him. Um, you know, you could definitely make the argument he's a he's a better athlete than Bates uh, and he's bigger and maybe faster. But, you know, you know, and I know that he takes horrendous angles and is probably more of a jumbo corner. But who knows? Maybe beauty's in the eye of the beholder. Maybe they see six two, you know, one ninety five with four, three speed and say, you know what? We'll take him in a mid round pick for Bates. I, figure it out, John, because it seems like this. I mean. Jimmy Ward is 30. He's going to be a free agent next year. You, you're going year to year with him. Hafunga is unknown. You're not really invested in him. You have Traverius Ward, who's really good, but you don't have an all pro in your in your secondary. And this guy's available. You haven't shown the ability. You don't even want to draft DBs that high. This guy's available. I think they should go after him. Um, I do too, because not? look at their, who's their third corner. I mean, who's their third safety? Excuse me. Who's the who's the if a Fonga or Ward Odom. went down? Odom. Odom's a suppose Odom's a special team guy. Yeah. Who else do they got? Tarvarius Moore, I just described. I don't think yeah. he can play dead. Taylor Hawkins was a, a a corner at San Diego State. That's a big transition. Leon O'Neill, I really do like as an undrafted free agent, but there's some coverage liability there. I mean, in a cover in a league where you have to cover on the backside. Jesse Bates has a real value. So, yeah, I mean, if they could make that happen in some ways, I look at this roster and I think, well, if you got rid of Jimmy, what are your weaknesses? Well, maybe center, maybe guard, uh, maybe backup quarterback if you don't have Jimmy and maybe an interior run stuffer behind Kinlaw and then like another strong safety. So, you know, or, you know, another safety that can play either spot would even be better. But, I mean, if the Niners before the season were to flip Jimmy Garoppolo for Tyrod Taylor and then use the cap space that they saved to go get Jesse Bates, I mean, wouldn't you be looking at this team in a whole different light? I mean, they also signed J.C. Treader to a one-year deal. I mean, all of a sudden, that's that's a legit Super Bowl contender, if not favorite. Treader, I'm not as big of a fan of because he's got broken a little bit of a broken down body from what I'm hearing. But but the other moves that you outlined, I think, are the perfect moves. You trade Jimmy, you get Tyrod Taylor, you clear some cap, you turn around and trade for a guy like Bates. Now you're a little deeper. To me, I would feel better. I love Afonga and I think his potential's there. But if you told me that the 49ers in year two were just asking Hafanga to be a stalwart on special teams and their third safety. I think a championship club has a Fonga in that role, not necessarily the starter at free. 
And then if he shows that he's really, really good, he could become a starter sure. next to Jesse Bates next year or the year after that if they keep Jimmy Ward a little bit longer. I think that's – why would you not do that? I mean, these are the kind of moves I think the Niners should be fantasizing about once they move Jimmy Garoppolo, which should be any minute now. Well, I mean, if you're thinking about Jimmy Garoppolo, once you move him, what are you going to try to do? You're going to try to use some of those assets that you're getting back, whether it be cash or picks, to try to make yourself better this year. Well, how do you make yourself better this year? Maybe getting an interior offensive lineman off the off the street. Maybe trading for a Jesse Bates. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, there's there's a couple other free agents that are out there as well. But I mean, you know, there's no question that that uh, you know strong safety I think is probably the thinnest spot on the D. And before we move on, what you said earlier about the safety position, like the, the the era of getting that big, strong safety, weak side linebacker hybrid, that's over. Yeah. And to me, Jesse Bates is the kind of guy, yeah, he's a free safety. You could put Jimmy Ward at strong safety at this point in his career. I think you absolutely could. Good. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I think Jimmy Ward probably finishes as strong. You know, Bates makes a lot of sense for that exact reason that maybe this year, Jim Bates, you know, if Bates came in, maybe Jimmy switches right away. Yeah. The beautiful part about, about war, Jimmy Ward is yeah. he's got the ability to play in the box. He's that physical, but he also has the coverage ability to play in the deep middle and a cover in a cover three look uh, where he's got to cover a ton of ground. So he, you know, but if you got Jesse Bates, now Bates ran, you know, plays that deep middle and Ward's up on the line. And I think that's probably their best foot forward, really. When Ward was younger, he had the body of a cornerback. And I think that's why, I mean, he had the game of a strong safety, but the body of a corner, I think that's why he got hurt and why coaches were a little confused as to where to play him. But now at 30 years old, he looks thick, built. I think he could handle it. I think he could play, especially in today's NFL. I mean, it's a passing league. It's a it's a too high safety league most of the time. I mean, you're not really playing the linebacker. I think you could do it. Well, anyway. and you can't even do it anymore. If you yeah. detonate on a guy, it's a it's a 15 yard penalty. So sure. it's more about do you break down in space against athletes consistently? And, yeah. and War, Jimmy Ward does. Who does it better than Ward? Like who actually form tackles better than Ward? Probably. I've never really seen Ward light anyone up, but you also don't really see him miss tackles. Well, didn't he, li- didn't he light up the guy in the uh, in the Rams game? And didn't he get yeah, penalized? He did. Sorry, I take it back. Half? I take it back. Yeah. Codename Chris says Jimmy G is borderline trash. Kyle's overrated and chokes in big games. And John Lynch is just there. Ouch. Keep up the good work. I agree with most takes. Codename Chris. What do you think his real name is? <laughs> yeah. <gasps> Appreciate it, man. Thank you. That was succinct yet brutal. 